Hey everyone, it's La here with The Lovely Lifestyle and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be about my cleft journey and my pregnancy journey. This video is dedicated to all the moms out there with a cleft baby and I want to let you know that you're not alone. So I wanted to share my cleft journey with all the new moms out there who think that you're the only one in the world because I felt alone when I got diagnosed. So let's start from the beginning. Um, well, I was diagnosed during my 20 week ultrasound and I'm going to tell you, I felt like the world just fell, da fell down and crumbled. And my husband wasn't there with me because I thought it was just going to be your normal routine ultrasound because prior to that we were at our 16 week ultrasound and that's when we found out that Lana was a girl. And then so I told my husband, you don't have to go with me, it's just, it's just a routine ultrasound. But I wish he did go with me so if you're a mommy, I big advice would be always have someone there with you during your ultrasound because you, you'll never know what you're gonna find out so that's how it started and I knew I was gonna cry but give me a moment because it's it's an emotional roller coaster and the feelings that I had was sadness anger a little bit of jealousy because I wondered why me why did this happen to me and that's a question that you're gonna answer constantly and think over in your head like what why did this happen to me and I want you to know that clefts are very common one out of 700 babies are born with clefts and my daughter she was born with a tazier cleft and what that is is it's a different type of cleft Dr. Tazier coined the medical term Tazier. There's 13 subclass and my daughter is subclass 4. And I want to show you her ultrasound because I want to share that with you on how you could see it and I want to tell you that you probably, I felt like maybe it's a mistake, maybe they're wrong, maybe it's just a, the amniotic fluid during the ultrasound but here is her ultrasound. You could definitely see her cleft going all the way up to her eye. And the hardest part was telling people about it because I didn't know how to talk about it. So it's okay. This, it's okay. It's gonna be okay because the universe doesn't give you anything you can't handle and you're a mom and you're going to be strong and your little girl or boy will love you and you'll love them. I want to show you Lana when she was born. So that's my little baby there. That's her. And so you notice the cleft goes all the way up to her eye there. And I want to show you her post-surgery this is at two and a half months and she has little no-nos on her hand here there she is getting her lip repair and I want you to know that every cleft journey is is different for everybody she had her first surgery at two and a half months old and I want you to know once you're diagnosed with a cleft I want you to take a deep breath, smile, and it's going to be okay because you're going to be the best mama. You're going to be the best advocate. And what I mean by that is, one, during your pregnancy, you can prepare for your baby's coming, for your baby's birth. One is getting the right bottles. And uh, there's different types of bottles out there. I'm going to put the link down below. What worked for me was Dr. Brown's specialty feeding bottles. Another thing you could do as a mom is find your surgeon. 
if you were diagnosed at 20 weeks, that means you have 20 weeks to go look and interview surgeons of your choice because that's your right to go look and get the surgeon that's right for you, that you feel comfortable with them. And once you find your plastic surgeon and your cleft team, tell them and ask them questions. Like for example, during her first surgery for Lana, she had to be at least 10 pounds. So she was born at seven pounds and one ounce. So to get to 10 pounds, I needed to feed Lana a lot and I couldn't breastfeed because it was hard for her to latch. So maybe it's gonna be easier for you to breastfeed, but it was difficult for her because of the cleft. It was hard for her to latch. So formula was my go-to supplement for her because my breast was not enough. So I want you to know that it's okay too if your daughter or son can't latch to your breast because having a cleft lip and an open soft or hard palate, our babies have to adapt to feed a different way. And we have to feed them upright as opposed to laying down like other babies. What my plastic surgeon told me was, you could think about your baby when they feed, it's a constant flow of water and they can't take a breath. So Lana knows to get up when she needs to take a break. So I want you to know it's okay, you're not alone. And I wrote notes because I know I was gonna cry during this video and I didn't wanna forget anything. So, another thing is, I wanna tell you that you're not alone. And I found my reason why my daughter had, I found my reason and the purpose because sometimes we search for answers and we think about why did this happen to us and in my community there was no support group for moms like me and we lacked awareness and so my goal with this channel and I created a support group for moms here in Bakersfield an online support group because at the end of the day you could talk to doctors nurses providers at the end of the day, you want to talk to a mom who's been through it, who could sympathize with you and who could understand what you're going through because they know and they can tell you what worked for them and may work for you too. And I just want to make, I would just want to make the world a better place one smile at a time, one mom at a time. And I hope this video reaches you. So it's going to be okay. And once your little angel is born, you're going to do the best thing. You're just going to be the best mom. And that's all you can do. One more thing I want to share with you is my daughter is going to be a year in a few days. So it's been a year. I want to show you. This is Lana at six months. This is her with her cleft lip repair. I want to show you her at nine months. <laughs> she's adorable and this is just her last week <laughs> she is my sunshine and we're gonna go for our second surgery this coming October so pray for us she's gonna get her soft palate repaired and her eyelid more symmetric with the other side it's gonna be a long journey but i want i want to share it with you and i hope you could share like and comment ask me questions send me a message because i would love to connect with you if you're a cleft mom newly diagnosed and you just need someone to chat with i want to be here for you Thank you so much for watching and listening to my pregnancy journey this is part one of a series of many. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and have a wonderful day. Bye.